Welcome to Journeys with Jason George, episode 16, making of not just your average wildlife walking stick, the planning. So in this episode, we're going to get into the behind the scenes planning that goes into making the not so average walking stick. In my old age, I realized that it'll probably be helpful to have one of these. Jason George photography. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> you must be Jason. <laughs> I'm actually George. <laughs> After a quick sound check, we were ready to go. So I have Jason George from Jason George Photography here today, and we're going to be doing a special project for him. Um, Jason, what are your thoughts on this project we're going to be doing? Um, I want to make it like super cool and like kind of reflective of me, make okay. it unique and special and like very different. Okay, so if everyone, anyone hasn't. Uh, seen Jason George photography his YouTube channel check it out um, Jason you want to maybe give us just a brief Explanation of what you do on your on your videos on your YouTube. Um, I make uh, wildlife videos about uh, some of the cool animals I see and encounter um, I've seen a red fox, which is actually black. Okay. Um, it's actually a melanistic red fox I've seen some massive moose um, and recently I actually saw a, a ditch beaver. Um, right, that's which was, one of your latest that's videos. My, yeah, that's like awesome. my latest yeah. video and it's actually getting some pretty cool reviews and comments and awesome. like I've never been this close to a beaver and like it's like it's there and it doesn't even care and right. it's just right. doing its thing and I learned awesome. so much about like how they eat. Like they, their teeth are yellow because of the sap in between the bark and the wood. Okay. And then they'll take off the bark and then they, their back teeth, they actually grind it. And in some of the video you can actually hear it and then they, I don't know what they do with it once it goes inside. And then I actually use my GoPro and got my camera underneath in the That's water. Awesome. So we're actually like swimming, well, right. swimming with the, with the actual uh, beavers. So oh, that's cool. Cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun and just a little different. And I don't know, I was a high school teacher for 10 years and then I retired awesome. to chase this dream. and. Good. It's just sort of going and I'm having some fun and enjoying my, my life. Awesome. So I know we talked a little bit and I want to kind of uh, share it with our viewers about what we what Bonifab Custom or what I can do that that um, could kind of relate to your uh, YouTube channel, right? Kind of like what, what, what can we tell our viewers we're going to kind of design and make? It's kind of like what? It's a... It's a walking stick, but it's also, what else is it? It's a walking stick slash a, like a little, because sometimes I'm in the bush and like, I, again, I hope that I'm not impacting the animals that are around right, me. Right. Like I try, I want to catch them in their natural setting, but there was this one time that I was photographing this wolf and it started running towards me. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. And like, I didn't know what to do, but like, I wish I had something for like protection. So I'm actually kind of hoping that this walking stick might be able to like protect me again i'm not okay. looking to like attack the animal but i just want to be able to like keep it at distance or if i go out on a long trip like maybe i can use it to like prepare a meal or like i see something on the ground that i want to investigate i could potentially use it to like pick it up because i'm actually okay actually i'm going to tell you a secret i'm actually afraid of animals <laughs> Not like, but I'm trying to get over that fear by becoming a wildlife photographer. Oh, that's a, that, yeah, um, you're jumping deep in. <laughs> I'm dr jumping into the deep end. That's right, yeah. Um, okay. That's but, great. But yeah, I, it's... You were also mentioning something about, like, obviously you're a photographer, videographer, and you have a camera with you. And you're saying maybe that walking stick can be some sort of like a monopod too. Which yes, is great. which is that's the other aspect I want it to be useful for when I'm making videos um, so that I can potentially stand on it on the ground. I actually thought that maybe we could you like create a bungee so like okay. I could attach it. This is a new idea. I didn't okay. tell you about it. I'm sorry for springing on this <laughs> on screen, but like so I could attach it to a tree. Okay. Um, I think it, like the concept I have in my mind makes it that it's probably easy because everything I've said to you that I thought was hard, you're like, oh, <laughs> oh, I can do that. So okay, so why don't we? We're going to get into the design stage of it. So right now, basically, we're trying to make a walking stick that is 
um, also a mono pot. Yep. Um, maybe have a knife, something that you can, you know, say, like you were saying, maybe you can uh, cut something up to cook with or whatever. Totally, because right. I want to use it when I go on my long trips to right. make some food on the in the bush. Perfect. And maybe a little bit of storage. Yeah, I definitely need a little bit of storage and then also like a prong on the bottom to right. like pin or like flip a rock or something okay. to see something perfect. creepy inside it. Okay, perfect. So let's get into doing some sketching. Awesome. So, so Jason, you, you brought us some, <laughs> some artifacts. Yeah. That's right? a, this is a deer okay. um, antler and a lot of people don't know this, but deer, deers will actually drop their antlers in, right. um, the winter time cause they become heavy. Right. It also provides food. So if you look at this one, you can actually see that's being gnawed on, um, Oh, by some of yeah. by some of the other animals, so like porcupines and squirrels. Unfortunately, I dropped some stain on this one while I was cleaning it, and it's okay. And then we have like a, a bone of some kind. So I, I think this might be a moose knuckle. Okay. Um. Oh, so one. this uh, I think it actually goes inside the hoof. I'm not a hundred percent sure because the first Algonquin wolf I've ever seen actually was eating this moose carcass. Oh, wow. And so I went back with my parents and actually picked it up. And okay. I don't, I'm not real, like, I didn't break it down, but yeah, I think this is, it's some part of the foot. Of, some sort of bone. Yeah, exactly. It's some sort of moose bone. That's really all that matters. And then, um, and why we're showing this is because we want to try and incorporate some of this stuff into the walking stick slash um, monopod. Yeah. Knife kind of thing. Um, also some recycled material like um, this copper tube who knows where that's from but from some yeah, that's some kind of pipe I think from right? my house yeah some wiring right we're gonna incorporate some wiring and we have um, metal so whenever we're say forging a knife um, and we want a knife that's gonna work well okay especially like you're gonna be out in the bush and you need it for look, survival say um, purposes we need it to be strong so we are going to be using some newer steel okay. inside incorporated with some recycled material oh that's okay? cool so this this material here is called 15 and 20 and it's a high nickel content steel but this will be the actual cutting edge it's heavy eh? i can get i can just get a workout doing this can you wow <laughs> I, it's more to work out than i would normally yeah. do <laughs> yes. that's way heavier than i was expecting though so this would be the cutting edge. Oh. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a, a Damascus. I mean, the word is Damascus, but it's, it's basically we're going to incorporate different types of metal. We're going to forge weld it together. We're going to use this new steel as our main structure and everything else on the outside. So it's going to look really cool. Yeah, right? oh, yeah really I, cool. I've seen a lot of the work that you do on your channel, so I Thank can you. only imagine You're how awesome kind. this is <laughs> going to be. No, it's going to be awesome because you know, I always like to make things, especially if we can reuse things, like reuse metal, if we can reuse like some of this material you have here, the bones and stuff like that, yeah. it's going to be, you know, next level. So it's going to be great. So let's start maybe sketching a little bit about what we can incorporate into this um, uh, walking stick. So okay. first of all, height wise, what are we looking at? So I'm like 6'2". Okay. Um, so uh, I don't know what that translates into height wise. My no, I, yeah, Imperial is good for me. So six, so what are you thinking? Because you want to use it for a monopod. So we yeah, so I don't want it to, I think like. So maybe around. Um, maybe we need it. Like, yeah, when you get a tape measure. Oh, oh there's one. don't worry. I brought my trusty tape <laughs> measure right here. Okay. So I think that would be a little bit taller than where my hand is now. So maybe 57 inches. Yeah. So we've got a height of, say, 57 inches total. Yeah. Okay. And then we want to have, and what I was thinking about with this, say, the knife, um, the survival knife on it. Yeah. We would have something that's, say, um, concealed. Yeah. 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 Inside the walking stick. Yeah, okay? Totally that you can say, um, 
we can quick release it somehow. Yeah, totally. And then like screw it into Yeah, something like that, some sort of fastener that we can screw it in here. And then if you want to take it out, you can actually flip it around and attach it to the walking stick yeah. or just use it separately, right? Okay, so when, if we're talking about like the monopod part, with the monopod right part goes up there, because yeah. what's also cool is if I was, depending on the animal I'm shooting, I can just use the knife right. on the ground as my monopod. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. And I thought about that after, like, that's a great idea. Yeah. So you've already, I was making, I just wanted to make sure, but okay. you've already, no, no, without thinking about it, you answered my question. That's a great idea. I meant to do that. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so this would be the say the handle. Yeah. This would be um, the the um, quarter twenty thread that would you would use on your camera. We would have some sort of knife in here, and then your walking stick. And then yeah. you were saying something about having like a, a hook or uh, not a hook, a fork. Are you talking about like a fork like that, like that kind of? Um, um more. I would think more like potentially sticking downwards. Oh, downwards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So disregard what I just wrote through there. So you're talking about, so if this is the bottom. Yeah. You would have like a. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. That's, a, that's exactly. Okay. So some sort of fork. Now you wouldn't want to eat with that fork, right? No, no that's a totally different type of fork. Okay. But if you had to. If I, <laughs> you know what? I've got a fork and a knife. I can have dinner. I just need to, someone <laughs> to spoon with. So. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so, well, well, yeah, like a fork. Now, would you want this fork on the bottom to unscrew if you needed it? Would you need that? Ma maybe. Just to think about yeah, it. Yeah. It, it. You know what? Yes. Okay. Let's, why don't we do? Why it? not? Why don't we give it all the bells and whistles, <laughs> eh? Okay. All the antlers and bones. It can yeah, have, antlers right? and bones. So we'll have some sort of um, way to take this off if we need to. Because then, if I'm walking on concrete or right. like, maybe we'll make it interchangeable, right? Yeah. You put, you put a rubber, a little rubber stopper on the yeah, bottom. Yeah. Why not? Okay. So it would have to be the 57 inches with the fork on the bottom. So we got to kind of keep that in consideration. How long do you think that fork should be? Maybe like. Three inches? <laughs> four inches? <laughs> I think an honest four inches. Would, or honest four maybe inches? an honest, maybe three and a half, maybe. Okay. Because I think that's, yeah. Okay. So Is it weird that I went with a half inch or? No, that's okay. fine. Yeah. Yeah, be around there somewhere. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, that's good. So what else are we looking at putting on this? Uh, there, I would like some kind of like storage um, compartment potentially. Okay, so some sort of storage compartment. Now, with that storage compartment, I'm just thinking here, could we put that inside yes. the knife here? Totally. Okay, so we can do that. So say this would be storage. I spelled that right. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm dyslexic, so okay, spelling so it doesn't. doesn't matter. Spell, you can spell it wrong; it still looks right to me. <laughs> Okay, so we have that. We have some storage in there, the monopod, um, and something else for, you said, to hook a bungee. Yeah, something down here, maybe like a hole or something sticking out of it, but it might just be better to put a hole that I can then put the bungee in. How about if it had like or, a hole going through, maybe a couple holes? Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Why not have, if, yeah. Because uh, you still can hook it with it, right? Yeah. And then that would just be a little simpler. And then the outer, whatever it is, it's going to be um, encased in something. So we'll figure out how we're going to kind of make it look more natural. It's so by we, you mean me, you, right? <laughs> okay, cool. But you will. Oh, I, I, oh, I, yeah. I will do my best, but I don't know how. You'll be supervising. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'm really good at supervising. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is kind of figure out the shape of knife that we want to do because then I can get into or we can get into can it also have like a like a flint to like sharp or not a flint but to sharpen it or is that sharpen it I don't or do you or will it just stay sharp because you're using we... this awesome steel yeah no it's gonna be sharp okay then yeah. don't worry about that yeah right. that'll be that'll be sharp okay uh, but the flint part I like I, I so always I, 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 that's what some... I think 
well, if I'm yeah. in the bush, I might need to keep stay warm. Yeah. So maybe we can put that inside the in the storage unit. In or the something. storage unit, yeah, yeah, that little storage unit. But we'll figure out a little shape for that, and uh, we'll do some drawings of that now. Awesome. This thing is definitely going to be cooler than I expected, and with a quick little sketch, you can start to understand why I'm getting so excited. This is such an amazing opportunity to team up with someone so skilled. Rob's technique and passion is awesome and his knowledge that he's willing to share with me is amazing. I feel so blessed to be able to try to understand all of the things. Even just the little things like the setup and how prepared he is and how the tools are set up ready for when he next needs it. It's all the little things that make it run so smoothly. This process looks so much easier when he does it than I think if I were to do it on my own. I don't even know where I would begin. So I can't wait for this whole process to actually begin and be out of the planning stages. I get we have to plan it, but soon, soon we actually get to build it. And that'll be even more exciting than this stage. Sorry, I'm just finishing up my drawing. <laughs> oh, do you like my drawing? Look That's at awesome. Oh, it's so good. So we have, <clears throat> so we have this preliminary drawing, and we did a couple of preliminary sketches too. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you decided to go with this type of blade, which is a stronger blade, yeah. no doubt, right? And I also wanted that the saw. Oh, that's part. right. I actually forgot about that. So yeah, that would make make it a lot more versatile if we put this right because then I can maybe saw. cut down a tree if I am well not a tree but a couple branches to make a fire right to stay warm yeah and, and we'll put the saw it could go the not majority go the whole of, way but yeah, yeah, yeah majority of the blade right so yeah. say you know a couple inches there but the saw okay that's a that's a good uh, feature um, you have this big blade it's gonna be and, and we're just putting diameters and, and lengths for now, just to kind of visualize, right? Totally. So about a six inch blade. And again, we're gonna make the steel for this. And um, actually this blade will be inside. So the tang will be inside oh, the okay. handle here and probably held by a couple of pins. So that's how it all strength. stays. Cause I, I didn't know how that was gonna stay there. Yeah, it's gotta go in at least two, three inches. Okay. And then we're, we'll have inside here, that's where you'll have your little compartment. Yes. Right? So we'll have like a little, little storage, storage there. Yeah, yeah. We can put our flint in there, That'd stuff be like sweet. that, which is good. Um, and so this is the, like this is that steel, and then yeah. this is where, it'll still be that steel, but then we'll be adding like yes. our copper, yeah, to give like that, reuse. To give it that organic look. It'll cool. really look really nice, yeah. right? So now that we have that and a basic idea of how the blade is, because once we make the blade, that's why everything has to be kind of um, made or built around that blade. Oh, okay. okay. Because that's like the hardest part. Everything else we can kind of, you know, add to it. So the first I actually thought the idea was the hardest part. Did you? Yeah, that, that uh, coming up with this idea was pretty well, was hard. was the easy part. You figured it out in like two seconds. Oh, yeah. So once we have that, so what we're gonna do next is, the next part of it is we're gonna build the steel or we're gonna forge the steel to make that blade and we'll make the blade complete, make this handle and everything, and then we'll work on the rest of it. So you're good. Can I help with the forging? Yeah, yeah oh, for sure. That's super yeah. cool. Tune into the next episode as Jason George will actually start forging his own not so average wildlife walking stick. Next episode, it's going to get a little bit hot, but until then, stay safe and keep enjoying the wildlife.